Samsung has just introduced the Exynos 1580, a new mid-range chipset set to power the Galaxy of 56 5G, and it's packed with some serious upgrades. Here's what makes this processor exciting. Power pack performance with tri-cluster architecture. The Exynos 1580 boasts an octa-core CPU with ARM 9 cores, arranged in a tri-cluster design. This structure, featuring one Cortex, a 720 core, at 2.9 GHz, three Cortex, a 720 cores, at 2.6 GHz, and four Cortex, a 520 cores, at 1.95 GHz, balances performance and efficiency to handle multitasking smoothly. Built on Samsung's third-gen 4 num process node, it promises better power efficiency and security than ever before. Graphics power with Xclipse 540 GPU. The Xclipse 540 GPU delivers console-level visuals for an elevated mobile gaming experience with a 37% boost in power efficiency over previous models. This means lag-free gameplay and crisp graphics for mid-range users who expect high-quality visuals on their devices. I advancements for smarter features. Samsung has packed the Exynos 1580's NPU with 14.7 TOE PS, making it powerful enough for real-time AI tasks, from instant translations to complex image processing. With 2 MB of memory, this NPU enhances Galaxy AI features on the A-Series, bringing a flagship-level experience to mid-range devices, enhanced camera capabilities. Samsung has emphasized the improved camera support on the Exynos 1580 so we can expect the Galaxy of 56 5G to deliver impressive photography upgrades, potentially with AI-driven optimizations that enhance every shot. Overall, the Exynos 1580 could make the Galaxy of 56 5G a standout mid-ranger, combining powerful performance, energy efficiency, enhanced camera capabilities, and console-grade graphics. If this is what Samsung has planned for its A-Series, it's clear they're committed to offering flagship-like experiences at mid-range prices. What do you think of these new features? Excited to see them in action? Let us know in the comments. It looks like Samsung is really stepping up its gain with the Exynos 1580 chip, which could be a major boost for its mid-range phones like the Galaxy of 56. If the rumors are true, we might see performance levels close to the Snapdragon 888 and Exynos 2100, both of which were flagship chips not too long ago. That's a huge jump for a mid-range device. The Exynos 1580's 8-core CPU and improved Xclipse 540 GPU based on AMD's RDNA 3 tech are exciting developments, especially if you're into mobile gaming or need good performance at a reasonable price point. With 1,046 single-core and 3,000, 678 multi-core scores on Geekbench. It seems like this chip will offer a solid balance of power and efficiency, similar to what we've seen in top-tier devices just a few years back. It'll also be interesting to see how Samsung utilizes the NPU in the Exynos 1580. If they manage to bring advanced Galaxy Eye features to the A-Series, it could make mid-range phones even more appealing. But as you mentioned, Samsung might hold off on giving those AI features to mid-range devices to keep them exclusive to flagships like the Galaxy S series. What's your take on this potential mid-range powerhouse? Could it compete with other budget-friendly devices or even challenge some premium ones? Let me know what you think in the comments.